guys. Hey guys, again, just to let you know, we're actually here with the motorhomer, um, which you catch them on, I think, on Facebook and yeah. a lot of the socials. We're uh, doing press and filming work for them. Yep. If there is something we need, it's a leap of faith. A step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave. So take a look around you. How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your knees. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the dare. If you have the will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Thursday morning. And yes, we are at the Caravan and Camping Motorhome Show 2022. Been a long time coming. But if you're thinking of coming, there's no tickets available now for any of the days. It's all sold out. So here we are. This is the first one since 2019, uh, I think it was, two years ago, the last one. Claire's just gone in to get the tickets because uh, we've got to, some tickets uh, ranged. So we're just going to go in and look at them. So let's catch you inside. See you in a minute. It's busy, isn't it? Morning. And it's sold out. Sold out. That's the problem at the moment. We find that uh, it's been so popular that it's all completely sold out. So I was just saying outside. If you haven't got tickets then yeah, you won't be able to come this year, no. which is a shame. It's already busy, what is it? We've just got to half past nine. Yeah. Already busy. So uh, so here we are, 2022. We are, we are at the show. So guys, let's uh, see if we can find our friend Phil from the motorhomer. Yeah. And then uh, we'll catch you inside in a bit. See you in a bit. In a minute. Guys, we're on the uh, RP stand, which is uh, close to our house, obviously with the camper van builds, which is Mercedes Sprinters 4x4s. Um, as you can see, there's three of them. This one is the the uh, Rebe Rebellion 4, Rebellion, yeah, Rebellion 4. Just have a quick look inside. These are really nice vans. These are. Just take this off for a second, just have a... So, uh, list price of this uh, Rebellion is um, $139,995. Vehicle is, uh, this vehicle on display is $167,000. Um, customer's own vehicle, so it is a customer's vehicle, but as you can see, look inside there. Wow. Got uh, four travelling seats, obviously. Capstan chairs there. Storage over the top, got a radio, 240 volts no doubt, hookups on the Merck Sprinters. And you got obviously here you got your you pull up there for extra space for worktops. Got a little fridge there, nice little fridge in there, look. Must be a freezer that because that, that, you got another fridge there. Microwave. You got an induction hob and a, a gas. Nice little shower room, shower, a toilet, cubicle. Obviously, it's clever that pulls across. Now oh, that's for the shower, so that pulls across there. And then here at the back, you've got where the bed is, which obviously comes down into a bed. And then you've got a big hatch at the back here, which is what I noticed on this earlier on. Which is lovely. Client notice it's the other way around. Obviously, you'd have to have it down when you're travelling. But you can climb out there and see what's going on. Lovely vant. TV there. Really, double, so big double bed at the back end here. I think there's a bed or something down the bottom there by the looks of it. Get the back door open there and sit and watch the sea or whatever the scenery you're at got a little fridge down there microwave yeah it's a fridge, that's a freezer, a little freezer as well so yeah really nice isn't it this one 4x4 four four. so guys yeah but it's a, but it's a drop down bed as well there look 
Let's go and have a look at some of these others. We've got the Rebellion 2, which is the other one. These are nice conversions, these are. Look at that for Gary Jerry on the back end. I like the hatches of the other ways, definitely. And this is the uh, price on this one is 136995 It's a similar one to the other one. I'll just have a quick look. Similar set, oh, set, similar set up again. This one is same sort of harp induction knob, two burner. So it's got the garage area on the back end. Captain's chairs again. No bed at the front end of this one. Got a nice sink. That's a deep sink, isn't it? That is. Look at that sink on there. Three hatches. Got your hatch there. Another hatch. Oh, Max Air fan. Lovely. Big slim line fridge and a freezer. I like these RP range. Storage cupboards. Little. Uh, got your tables in there and everything. The show's about to start now. Just opening up, so everybody be be able to do anything. I like the matches. <laughs> and the brilliant only the matches like that. I know they're the other way, but you just have to make sure they're shut. There might be some sort of little alarm somewhere to make sure when you're driving along, you don't uh, drive along and rip it off. So let's put that back on there. Again, we say the Sprinter 4x4, a little washing machine on the likes over there. That is mini. Very nice. So proper Probably on two, four before tow each on them. Yeah, I like them. The Rebel over there, shorter wheelbase one. Have a look at this one before you open up. Just have a look. This is the 109,095. So this is a shorter wheelbase one. Yeah. Just a quick look in here before it all starts. So again, you got your captain's chairs. All the nice shower cubicle unit. Got your two burner hob. Brilliant. That's a bench seating area at the back. Obviously, this is a bed again. Max Air fan. Yeah, very nice. So, yeah, check these guys out definitely. Catch you later. Where? Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Where are you guys based? Oh, in Yorkshire. So that's where the company's Yorkshire. Yeah.
guys. Guys, again, just to let you know, we're actually here with the motorhomer, um, which you catch them on, I think, on Facebook and yeah. a lot of the socials. We're uh, doing press and filming work for them. Yep. So that's why we're here for the next. Very busy. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, aren't we? Hopefully. Yeah. So we're just trying to make our way to hall number three. Two. Uh, two. 3A, so we're just further around here. So uh, let's go and see who's on the stage there. <laughs> Catch you in a minute. Mr. Beale. Sort of traveling around. Is there any part of the country that you haven't been or want to go again? Or? Oh, there's lo it's loads of it. Um, Questions and answers. Time at the moment. moment. Done to to wait for the green lights. There we go. All sorted. Although where I'm parked at the moment, it's on such a slope they haven't actually worked. So I'm still slightly on the walk. It's taken three days to get questions. First couple of days, nobody wanted to ask any questions. Everybody just sat here already. Wild camping off-grid? Um, <coughs> well, if you saw the photo of me at Old Trafford, you don't get much wilder camping than that. <laughs> um, especially if they found out I was a Liverpool supporter, it would have got very wild. Um, no, most, most of the time I stick to the sites. Um, I think at some point it will probably happen when you're saying I'm actually wild camping at the moment because I'm parked out the back. Um, <laughs> I, f I think if I go up to Scotland, yeah, but there's, there's obviously going to be a, a point at which you have to drop into a site and fill up with water and top up the electric. And um, I, I discovered, I thought I had um, uh, solar panels on the roof. And on Monday, when the storm got up and the satellite dish went from locked to boom, 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 yeah, which wasn't good. And we got a ladder with four people holding it to go and check. I suddenly discovered, oh, I haven't got solar panels, so so if I do go off grid, it won't be for long. <laughs> where, where, where would you send him if you could send him anywhere? The Peak District. Where would you send him? Don't say Coventry. Peak District. Next. Peak month. District. Yeah. Quite a lot of the places that you actually have to go to though are dictated around your tours, aren't they, and your work. You do it. Yeah, since um, since July I've been on tour with um, Looking Good Dead. Um, it's funny, I've we're, we're in Birmingham, Alexandria tonight, um, which is basically why I'm here. Because we announced the second leg of the tour the week after the Camping Caravan and Motorhome show decided they were coming back to Birmingham. Have you tried getting a camping space within 30 miles of Birmingham this week? Which is why I passed out the back. Um, no, I've literally, it might, the last what is it, nine months, and up until the end of April, everything's dictated for me as to where the, the theatre tour is. So wherever Looking Good Dead, whichever theatre it's on at, is deciding which campsite I'm at. So um, I'm currently still looking for somewhere in Coventry in a fortnight's time. Um, at the moment, it's looking like I've, I found a marina. So... Where would be there you go, guys. Ian Bill from EastEnders. If you could pick anywhere in, in the world. Happy birthday to you. Yes, and you.
go on the carousel? Whatever no. it is, slide or whatever it is. Nope. Oh. Actually, just look back. That's where you get on an old map thing, like you remember when you're a kid. And slide there. What do you mean when you're a kid? You can do it as an adult. <laughs> Bit more of that, Ooh. I'll have a bit of that toffee vodka Ooh. and... Ooh, I see a big red bus. <laughs> <laughs> right, dinner time, I think we're just going to have something to eat, eh? Bit. So here we are, day one. Lunchtime. Lunchtime, the big red bus. Fish and chips. Here and there, all four by the... Big slide there. So yeah, fish and chips. Good old English fish and chips. That's why the big, big red London bus. Chippy Street. Right guys, we're going to cook him. Catch you later. So here he goes, guys, this is something a little bit different. If you're looking in the park home or chalet sort of situations. Look at this, so you've got a big double room here. Little vanity unit and wardrobe there. Your own little ensuite shower room. Sorry if the lights are flickering, you can't do a lot of that. Lights everywhere. That's a nice little place, isn't it? Little uh, ensuite. And as you come back out, it's all brown cladded outside, you come back out and you've got a uh, proper bathroom in here, look. Shower. Bath. Quite big as well. And then you come into, you got little twin bunks in there. And then guys, look at this in here. Floor is nice. Look at that, you got your your cooker, your dining room, your lounge, all in one. That's lovely. So you got kitchen diner. If you want something self-contained in one little place like this on a on a campsite or a park home as they call them. Something like this for me mom, we're thinking of because obviously we're looking at she's gonna come to live with us or live on the, where we live. Either converting our garage or something like this, maybe. Over to my mum, what do you think? Nice, roomy. Just quickly show you outside. Cool. Yeah, this is. Uh, show you outside. It's all like a wood cladded outside chalet looking. That's what caught my eye on it first. Claire likes it, don't you? New home? Yep. The Liberty. And these guys uh, specialise in second-hand ones of these as well. So they'll uh, sort you out with second-hand ones, especially if you've got your own land. That was interesting, that one. Did you say they sort out in second-hand ones as well? Yeah, as business yeah. card. Yeah. Yeah. Is it Liberty? Yep. Mike. Mike Kane. Yeah. Book him up. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, guys, we're gonna go and uh, meet up with others now. Yay. So let's get going. Catburn, up to the stage. Can we have a loud round of applause, please? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that was great. Thank you. Hey, uh, hey, 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 hey. Hi. How's up? How many people here have got a motorhome? camper van, a caravan, some sort of travel vehicle, or they want to buy one. Yeah, I took a gamble given what show we were in. And hands up, how many of you want that moment and the reason that you bought your vehicle when you open your curtain or you slide down your blind and you look out the window and you are awestruck at the most incredible place that you've been able to stay overnight? Because I know for us, that was one of the driving reasons that we got a vehicle. So when the NEC kindly invited me here to talk to you about somewhere inspiring, somewhere we've been that was absolutely amazing, we've been lucky enough to go to an incredible place around the UK and Europe and we had lots of places that we could have picked. But there was one place that really stood out for us over the last few years of travelling. Possibly because we didn't mean to go there, I'll be honest, and I'll get to that shortly, but also possibly because it gave us that amazing wow moment. So ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the Italian Dolomites. 
Before I get into it, for those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Kat. I run the motorhome travel website, Wandering Birth. About four years ago, I quit my job as an air traffic controller to travel with my slightly bewildered husband and our daughter in our motorhome. We've been all around the UK and Europe. The daughter's now left. We've got a Cocker Spaniel instead. Not sure which one's more hard work, I'll be honest, but we'll gloss over that bit. So guys, it was Kat, Wandering Bird. Definitely very inspirational on travel. Very inspirational. Obviously, she knows her stuff. Uh, abroad and everything. So go and check her out on the socials, Cat Wandering Bird. Yep. Um, definitely worth looking into. You know, if you're going to travel to France and Europe, she'll uh, give you all the information you need for travelling, what you need with your vehicle. Yep. Um, we spoke to her quite a few times. Pets, yeah, vehicle, bikes, cars, <laughs> towing. Right, let's carry on around, yeah. Okay. See you in a bit. So here guys, you've got one of the vehicles from Mototech, based on the Peugeot Boxster. Got these others here, which are VWs. Transit as well, I think, is that Transit? Yeah, Ford. Peugeot Boxsters. This is the one here, which is um, 59,195, which is a van conversion. Which is a nicely set out. The, the caps and chairs, yep. four seat belted, little cooker there, sink, two burner, little sink. It's nice as well, you got that around there. A shower, 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 toilet cubicle. Obviously you can get your bikes and everything here, these slimline fridge freezers again. Microwave. And the back end here, which is where the bed is, because you've got no, yeah, the beds in this area here. So this the back end here collapses down to beds across the top, and you get your bikes down there. Look, showing that picture. So you've got a bit of a garage space area. Yeah, Peugeot Boxster. Call the Moto Tech Terrain. All kitty there, yes, yeah, nice van that is. Nice colour. Right, battery time to change the battery by the looks of it. A little flashing up, warning battery low. Right, we'll change the battery and catch in a bit. Again from the same company, Moto Trek. Another Peugeot, and Peugeot Boxer. I like this one. Good set out, uh, layout inside. 55,599. Trek uh, EB Leisure. Uh, it's on a Peugeot Boxster, 2 litre, 130 bhp, 66 speed gearbox. Just trying to see how long it is. That's a standard length van, but the looks of it. Get a look inside in a minute. It's quite busy here at the moment, but it's, it's a nice setup and nice colour again. I like the colour. So we've got a not barn doors or nothing on this. You just got a, like a little boot garage area around, under there. It's cool that. Put your awning on. Leisure Trek. Go and have a look inside. So into the Leisure Trekker EB, I think is this one's called. This is a. Uh, a different layout in it really which is big lounge area big big lounge area this has got in there which is nice for the captains again that probably well that is your bed there bit to a big double bed which is nice You've got plenty of storage on your overhead storage look and then like your kitchen and your bathroom is on the back end You've got your skylight skylight there You've got your Wash and basin, wash and basin sink, even. <laughs> cooker, you got a three burner cooker. And then you got on the back end here with this one, you got your your little bathroom similar to that other one. It's right on the back end of the van. And obviously you got your, your fridge. Microwave. But it's roomy at the front end like ours and our vans. Same as ours at the front end, it's all the front end which is where you can sit, have your dinner and everything. And this is obviously got to make your bed up, that's the only thing, but that's not a problem, is it? 
So yeah. yeah. You like that? There's no way that our Lynn would be able to reach <laughs> anything with these chairs. Trying to say. She's small. Right, guys. Let's uh, go and have a look some more. See you in a bit. So we have another Peugeot Boxer from Moto Trek. There's nice colours on the, all these vans are good colours. I like these the colours of the vans. The graphics on them and that. This one you say you've got to be slim slim. Well, yes, you need to be like that. You Show. need to be comfortable. What do you mean? I've got a lot of padding on me. <laughs> <You've got padding. laughs> Like very. Oh, that's narrow. Yeah, see what you mean. So you need to be really sideways on walking. You got to walk sideways, in other words. Yeah, you can't sort of go like that. <laughs> that's the layout. It's nice, isn't it? Yourself like that. Shimmy yourself through here. Yeah. yeah. There you go. But otherwise, the layout's nice, isn't it? The layout's beautiful. You got the four seat, four seat belts, four driving belts, captain's chairs, storage over the top, storage there. Look. Flickering lights, probably. <laughs> like this as well, that's nice. Yeah, I want that's what I bet with ours we need two, don't we? Yeah, so it gives you a bit more yeah, space. More that, that's one of them pop ups, probably, is it for the. Yeah. Pop up of what? Yeah, it gives you all the uh, plugs, power plugs, and everything. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then you got your. Oh, I've just made that through. <laughs> so you got the back end here, you got obviously. It's in the fixed bed, obviously, but it's a bed you'd have to make up. So this is your the area you've got that area down the front there and this and a very big bed is it it's probably only six foot by four foot so small double plenty of storage yeah plenty of storage space nice the fridge my nice sharing toilet yeah you got three burner come and have a look there now a light in there there you go, I mean, look. You could, like, sort of Cut it down a bit. <laughs> yeah, I like the toilet. The toilet, shower room. It's all in one, obviously. Yeah, it's all you need. So, I mean, that's only about two and a half foot. Ours is four foot that of ours. Four foot be two foot. Space of ours. So, I mean, we can narrow ours down. We've got two hatches. But yeah, it's a... Nice light here. Yeah, see only that that's the only downfall in that narrow part there yeah. to get through. They made that for the travelling seats, haven't they? I like this area though where you can sit and chill. Yeah, I like that area. Where's your telly? Gonna have a telly to watch YouTube. Oh, it's no telly. Probably back down there. There's so much stuff in there, huh? No. You'd have to put put it up somewhere, wouldn't you? Well the bathroom, telly in the bathroom. Yeah, why not? <laughs> oh, these Same are good. Newspaper. Yeah, they're good. Hi. Oh, you got a nice side one here. Yeah. So, what we got? 52,000. Isn't too bad, is it? 52,005 now. Oh, that's really good. Again, it's got the 2 litre, 130 bhp, 6 speed manual, I think. From this 52, one. so the price yeah. of this vehicle is 58. 59, nearly. 58,000. Standard length van. Yeah, too bad, it's just a bit narrow, you'd have to be there. And it's narrow at the back end, isn't it, really, on where the bed is at the back? Yeah. So, yeah, built some good vans by the looks of it, this Moto Trek. Obviously, the V dubs and that as well, pop tops. Yeah, see if we can have a look back into this one now. 